Hey guys, today off, this, off of the supply table you need to get one big sheet of white paper. You're also going to get one of these worksheets. And just like we've always done, we always put our name on the back of our paper, Mr. Calvert. So you're putting your name. And you're going to flip that paper over. And the first thing we're going to do is that when we looked at Sonny's artwork, we noticed that he had a lot of squares and rectangles that divided up his artwork. So I'm going to start off by drawing some horizontal lines and some vertical lines. I'm not going to draw squares. I'm going to use these lines. So horizontal, vertical, and notice what happens when I use those lines. When I drew horizontals and verticals, it started to create these rectangles and squares for me. I'm going to do just a few of them. All right, so you get something that looks kind of like this. I didn't overdo it on the squares and rectangles. If you do too many, it's gonna to be too hard later on the project. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I did like seven lines. So you do about seven, that's probably about right. Next, you're gonna take a look at that worksheet and you'll notice that I have a whole bunch of different things that deal with music. So I got music symbols, some instruments or headphones, these are things that you might see on like an iPod, such as the volume going up button, or the play button, or the pause button, or the repeat button, or the stop button, All right? I also have some on the back. You're gonna choose some of these symbols, and you are going to add them to the squares or rectangles on your sheet of paper. If you think of some others, you're welcome to do other ones too. Don't have to just do the ones that Mr. Calvert's doing. So I'm gonna do, this is, looks like a CD. So I'm gonna do that one. Notice how big I'm keeping it. It's really filling up those squares. If I draw too little, it's not gonna work at the end of the project. So gotta keep it big. Maybe I'll do one of these music notes. Um, flip it over. Maybe I'll do a play button. Just a triangle tipped on its side. And a pause button. When you get this far, you are ready to move on to the next step. So I start off by drawing a bunch of vertical lines and a bunch of horizontal lines, and then I created all these squares and rectangles. Then I chose symbols from my worksheets to include on each of these spots. Make sure they don't get too small, because next we are gonna trace over them with these paint markers. And if you end up doing something too small, like say I was trying to do some little itty bitty symbol, like maybe I tried to draw some headphones that were really little. Look at how big this ends up drawing. All right, so you can't do little itty bitty details with this. It's gonna be way too big. All right, so next, at your tables, there should be these paint markers. You'll probably have to share them. I don't have a lot of them. Your job is to trace everything that you did. So I'm gonna trace my lines. If it's not coming out well, you might wanna give it just a really gentle squeeze while you use it. Be extra careful because if you squeeze it too hard, the whole top of this could come out, could come off, and then you would end up with paint all over your artwork and you would have to start all over. Once I've got my rectangles outlined, I can begin to do those designs that I did. So this was a volume symbol. I noticed that when I did the record, which is right here, you know there's a lot of black on it, so I'm gonna fill that in. It kinda makes it look like that record, that CD is kinda shiny. Right, when you get that far, 
you are all finished for the day. Please be careful not to bump it to you. You can see I accidentally smudged mine. So I start off by drawing about seven vertical or horizontal lines. So I got all these squares. Then I went and I added symbols to each one of those. Last but not least, you need to share these and go in and trace everything that you drew. When you're all done, these go at the bottom of the drying rack.